Sidney Moore's kidnapping trial on charges related to the disappearance of Heather Elvis will continue today. Three women who worked with Elvis and Moore testified on Monday that everybody knew they were having an affair. Elvis started getting calls and texts from Tammy Moore, Sidney's wife, and that's when the pair broke up in the fall of 2013. That December, December 18th, Elvis disappeared and missed her shift at work. She hasn't been seen since. Prosecutors said on Monday, Moore lured her to the Peachtree boat landing in the middle of the night through a phone call. And that's where police found her abandoned car. It's also the last place her cell phone pinged. And you're not going to see a picture of him committing the crime. You're not going to see an eyewitness come into court and say, I saw him kidnap Heather Elvis at the Peachtree boat landing on December 18, 2013. You're just not going to see that because he made sure that his trap got set in an area where there wouldn't be witnesses where there wouldn't be photographs. Prosecutors referenced phone records and forensic analysis of surveillance video as evidence. Moore's attorney called the evidence entirely circumstantial, and he spent most of his time attacking the investigation, saying Horry County police felt pressure to charge someone from the public.